In the quaint town of Willow Creek, every house had a white picket fence, and every street corner featured a perfect flower bed. That is, except for the old Thornweld Mansion, a decrepit relic of a bygone era. Have you heard about the Thornweld Mansion? whispered Timmy to his friend Jack as they rode their bikes past it. They say it's haunted by vampires. Jack rolled his eyes. Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. Vampires aren't real, Timmy. That night, a blood moon cast an eerie red glow over the town. The air was thick, almost suffocating with tension, as though the night itself was holding its breath. Jack tossed and turned in his bed, unable to shake Timmy's words from his mind. At precisely midnight, he swore he saw a shadow move across his room. Determined to prove Timmy wrong, Jack decided to visit the Thornweld mansion. Armed with nothing more than a flashlight and a shaky sense of bravado, he ventured into the decaying estate. The mansion's door creaked ominously as he pushed it open. Inside, cobwebs clung to every surface, and the air was permeated with the scent of mildew. Hello, Jack called, his voice echoing through the empty halls. Is anyone here? A sudden rustling sound made him tense up. His flashlight beam wavered as he swept it across the room, finally landing on a grand staircase. At the top stood a figure draped in a dark cloak. Who are you? Jack demanded, trying to keep his voice steady. The figure didn't respond but instead began to descend the stairs with a slow, deliberate grace. You've come to play our game, I see, the figure finally said, voice smooth as velvet. Jack felt a chill run down his spine. What game? he stammered. Survival, the figure replied, revealing a set of glistening fangs. Before Jack could react, the room lit up, revealing a dozen more cloaked figures, all with the same gleaming fangs. They surrounded Jack, cutting off any chance of escape. What's the matter, Jack? I thought you didn't believe in vampires, the lead vampire taunted. Jack's pulse raced and he could feel his mouth dry up as he backed away, bumping into an ornate mirror. He caught his reflection, or rather, the lack of it in the vampire's reflection. Let's play, said the lead vampire, lunging at Jack with supernatural speed. Jack's scream echoed through the mansion, mingling with the sinister laughter of the vampires. The town of Willow Creek awoke to the news of Jack's disappearance. While some believed he had simply run away, Timmy knew in his heart what had happened. He gathered his friends, each one armed with garlic, wooden stakes, and a fierce resolve. The town might have been perfect, but beneath its idyllic surface lurked a darkness that fed on the disbelief of boys like Jack. Timmy clenched his fists. The bloody games had just begun.